Okay, it worked. time here at Zoe's Resort and I'm so pleased with experiencing cacao, pili nuts, coconut, everything's just been so amazing but now we are heading off to some hot and cold springs or I think cold springs just one of those springs before our day comes to an end actually I feel like it's, the sun's about to go down and then yeah let's just try a lock and see what's left of the springs let's go okay Hey, it worked! <laughs> Before going to the springs, we ended up uh, taking a look at this Balai Buhay sa Uma bee farm and I'm so ready to try some honey. Okay, registration. Hello. Good afternoon. That is very nice to give us discount. Um, so instead of 150 pesos, it's 50 pesos per head. That's because they're already closing. Um, and now we're going to look around the bee farm. Actually, didn't even ask anything about the bee farm or the bees from plantation. Okay, okay, go. Dalawang klase po ng bee yung ano namin dito, ma'am. May cultured bee, tsaka may sa wild bee po, ma'am. Wild Yung bee. honey po namin dito, dalawang klase din po, ma'am. Cultured and okay, wild. Opo. Okay. Yung sa cultured po, ma'am, yung lasa po nun, ma'am, is sweet and sour po. Okay. Yung sa wild po, is natural po, sweet lang po siya, ma'am. Ah. Pwede po kayo mag-free taste dun, ma'am. Yeah. Pero para po sa hands, gano'n po yung sweet and sour, kasi no need to add lemon po. If ah, you okay. Po. Yun ang cultured. Yes, po. And they're all Filipino bees. Walang, walang in-import na mother bee. Wala po, ma'am. Oh, no, ma That's good. Ah, yeah. yung beehives po, ma'am, na makikita niyo po dito sa gilid, yan po yung cultured bee po, ma'am. Ah, okay. Po. All right. Pwede niyo pong lapitan, huwag niyo lang pong galabi. Of course. Po, po. Thank Hindi you. Hindi naman siya nang angalagat kasi stingless po siya. Kahit na. <laughs> thank you, thank okay, you. Okay po, thank you. Let's go look around. Um, there are two types of bees here. There's cultured and there's wild. And according to our very quick briefing, the cultured ones will have a sweet and sour flavor. And you'll actually see the beehives around here as you walk. And then the wild uh, honey is just all sweet. So according to her preference, she prefers the cultured because you don't need to add like lime to the honey. It's already sweet and, and sour. I would prefer the wild ones because it's just like sweet, pure sweetness. Oh, exciting, yeah. They close at five, which is like like 30 minutes from now. So we're gonna maximize and make do with what we have. Getting so nervous, Eddie wants to go so close because he thinks that they look like ants. Yeah, our bees here are, are, are wild bees, and you know they're all Filipino bees. None of none of the mother or the father bees were imported. <laughs> Love is stop, no, stop going. None of the like mother or father bees imported from you know abroad. They're really all local, which is cool. But yeah, they do look like ants. In fact, if you don't go close, you might think that they are ants. But yeah, these are our local native bees. They're teeny weeny. I can understand why they charge 150 pesos per person. This place is quite big and there's so many beehives around us. Yeah, it's just a nice place to explore if you have the time. Don't come here when it's closing time because like right now I feel a little bit pressured to look for the pool, to look for the honey. It's a very nice place.
place is so big, uh, we saw a narrow tree, which is what they use for, they used to use it for making floors and walls and doors. But the narrow tree itself takes so long to grow, so it's considered illegal now to use that material for, for housing or for any, or for any construction. And then we passed by a betel or beetle nut tree, which has so much beetle nut and people in the province or in other countries, they would chew that for. Why, why do they chew it for? Nicotine? Like, nicotine. Yeah, like this. Gives you a buzz. Does it wake you up also? Destroys your teeth. Destroys your teeth also. There's so much nuts here. Thank goodness I haven't really seen that around Bicol, but I wouldn't be surprised if. Have you seen? Oh, okay, well. There you go. There's there's betel or betel nut all around us. Like, oh my gosh, they're everywhere. So what's amazing about this place is that it's actually connected to the mountain water up there and it goes straight to the pool which is where we are now and it just goes down to, to the river, the lake which is so amazing, everything is natural the water is very cold right now. Let's take another dip and enjoy some fresh ocean water. Goodbye to paradise. I'm so sad. Look, it's so beautiful. And the water felt so fresh that I was so tempted to drink it because it's coming straight from the mountains up there. Anyway, right now we're gonna go buy some honey. Honey. Or honey from a honey. See, that's why we're here. We're at the bee farm. But who knew the bee farm would have such a beautiful, luxurious swimming pool? And they also have accommodations here as well. 